may not be a major storm heading our way right now. We are showing you how we track weather and alert you to severe weather before we get hit with it, of course. Now, meteorologist Pete Mangione is here now. We haven't seen any stretches of that real, real hot heat just yet, but it does look like it's going to stay warm at least through this weekend. It looks pretty good this weekend, Susan. Yeah. Temperatures in the upper 70s to the mid 80s. Pretty comfortable around here. Now, we did have a pretty warm May. In fact, back in mid-May, we had three days in a row when the temperature hit 85 degrees or warmer. Since then, we have not had a day that warm or several days in a row of days that warm. So it's been a while since we've had a warm stretch mm -hmm. like that. And in case you are wondering, because I know you are, yes. what the hottest <laughs> day ever in Rhode Island is, that would be 104 degrees. That happened on August 2nd, 19. 75. That was a real scorcher. And of course, when we talk about uh, heat advisories and heat warnings, there are two different types of alerts that are issued. The first is an excessive heat advisory. That gets issued when the heat index is expected to reach 105 degrees or warmer. Now, then there's the excessive heat warning. That's issued when the mercury rises to 110 degrees or warmer. Fortunately, we don't have any weather like that on the way for today. And the average overall temperature when you look at all 12 months here in southern New England, that is 50.7 degrees according to the Northeastern Regional Climate Center. Obviously, this weekend will be warmer than that. So let's take a look at what's happening here. No excessive heat warnings. We're looking at a dry and quiet live pinpoint Doppler 12. Now let's fast forward over the next several hours. Notice how we do have some clouds. We'll see sort of that milky look to the sky as we head later into the afternoon. And then notice at 6 p.m. a few little blips try to approach. There may be a sprinkler to a northwest Rhode Island. Most of us will miss that. And then later on tonight, notice the green tried to approach Cape Cod and the islands. There is the potential that we get a little bit of a grazing with the showers late tonight through tomorrow morning. I do not see this affecting any fireworks or any outdoor events or anything like that. Again, most of the next 24 hours is completely dry and then tomorrow afternoon is nice as well. So we have no red or yellow alerts on the eyewitness news threat tracker, which is good. We like to see that. I do want to point out we have that moderate risk of rip currents today and you'll notice as we take a look from Narragansett Town Beach, kind of quite a bit of wave action as we uh, see here from this view. Pretty good visibility though and a nice scene here from Echo Lake and Pasco. A lot of boats out on the water. I think we'll be seeing a lot of that as we go throughout the weekend. But again, the water just a little bit choppy out there today, so be mindful of that. 75 in Smithfield right now. We are 78 in Providence, 74 in Newport, 78 in New Bedford, and 80 already in Taunton. And here is kind of the trend for the next several days. We will have these systems trying to punch through, but like this one is doing here, most of them will stay to ourselves. Now, this will clip us with some of those high clouds, and again, maybe a few of us get grazed by these showers later on tonight, but we are leaving the forecast pretty much dry here at the beach. Mid-70s, some of those uh, sea breezes will cool things down a little bit compared to the coast. In fact, this shows that in more detail. Notice inland Providence, Smithfield, upper 70s to low 80s at around 2 o'clock in the afternoon. At the south coast, because of those breezes out of the southwest, we stay in the mid-70s. And then for tonight, it's comfortable. Temperatures right around 70 degrees and humidity really not too bad for this time of year. 76 at the beach this afternoon and notice in the seven day future cast, it is nice tomorrow, 81 degrees. It's a little on the cool side on Saturday, but if you're heading to the parade in Bristol, that is almost ideal. You really don't want it too warm. Three o'clock in the afternoon, 78 degrees. We'll get those cooler breezes out of the east that will cap our temperatures uh, in the upper 70s. And then Sunday is warmer, 85 degrees with the breeze out of the west and then on Monday 83 with mostly sunny skies. Now, in case you have not had enough of me, Susan, coming up tonight, Never. live at five, I put Rhode Island's evacuation routes to the test to see just how easy they are to follow in the event of an emergency during severe weather. And stay tuned to Eyewitness News and the live pinpoint Doppler 12 weather team for in-depth coverage all day. And Susan, yeah, there's a website, there's right? More. You can also head to our website right now to learn more about severe weather, summer threats. That's where you will find the Hurricane Tracker, a guide to get you storm ready, along with the Pinpoint Weather Team's daily weather blog. In fact, I'm going to blog coming up in just a few minutes. I am waiting with bated breath. I know you are. So, yeah, a lot to uh, track on the website. A lot of cool upgrades on there and also good apps for uh, your iPhone for sure. and your iPad. Awesome. Great. Thanks so much, Pete. Yep. Well, here's a look at what we're working on for Eyewitness News beginning live at 5. Danger in the water.